Hey everybody, welcome back. I think we had fun on that last weekly. Things got a little crazy. We had some goofs, some gaffs, and a lot of laughs. Let's get a, I like a 1-4. Everything else here I sleep on. Give me some 2-3s. You're a 2-3. You know what? You're a 2-1 with upside. Yeah, yeah, we take these. I'm the, the seahorse. Let's be a fragile whippersnapper. Oh, man. We get a little gray in the beard. All of a sudden, you're like kids these days. My, like, my daughter's 19 months old. The other day, she looked at me and she said, Father, how do I click book? And I was like, what? You don't click books. You buy them, put, your, put them on your bookshelf. Read the prologue. Well, you never read the prologue. You tell yourself nobody reads the prologue. You skip to chapter one. You're like, I don't understand what this author is saying. You put it back on the bookshelf. Never read it again. Eventually, someone comes over and they say, oh, is that good? And then you say, yeah, it's really good, but not because you read it. You're just remembering the Amazon reviews that led you to purchase it in the first place. I, I don't think the seahorse really has that much of a place in, in the modern world, quite frankly. With that being said, I am going to buff it. <laughs> um... In, I mean in the weekly. In the weekly, I don't think the shuffling is as important as in the in the previous weekly where it was kind of themed around it. Um, and obviously two of them, they, they kind of counterbalance. But in the early game, it doesn't matter because so many people are running like duplicated units right next to each other anyway. You're just buying it for stats. And we're at two wins. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm also feeling like um, like when you see two rats, that's kind of when you take two rats. Or, or one rat, but slightly stronger. Um, I am ready to pill you. I can't really do it just yet. What if you didn't hit the ant? I can live with this. It's not my favorite, but I can live with it. I gotta tell you, here's the thing. There's a part of me that says, why don't we create a 7-5 cockroach and beat the system? But if we're gonna do that, why wouldn't we create a 12-5 seahorse instead that actually like does something? I'd rather do that than just add like another you know, a unit we don't really care about. Now, a raccoon, I don't mind having on the squad and any buffs that he soaks up over the course of the game, we know they're going to prove fruitful at some point. This seems drawable to me. Never mind, it seems very losable to me. <laughs> Didn't even come close on that, wasn't even trying. Okay, uh, we'll pill you. It's going to make it hard to keep the full squad around, but mm, that's so unfortunate. Should it, I have to acknowledge I should have sold that first. But this, trying not to overrate the tropical fish too much, but... I can live with this. A lot of people look at the tropical fish and dislike it. I look at it and say, you know, it's scaling. It's not the scaling I would like to see ideally, but it's... It's the scaling we have access to right now. So we got one round of the cockroach buff. Now it's dead to us. Get out of here. I think it's been a while since we tried like a rabbit build, man. I would much rather give you like a cucumber or something. And we should really move... Uh, salad is always good here. Should really get you getting a buff. Um... Salad gives us some very meaningful HP. You know what? I would give some bacon up in this situation. Maybe we'll try like this. I like the look of this squad a little bit better. So the raccoon is just there to be a sleeping giant. You know, it doesn't, in my opinion, from what we've played so far, it doesn't really get good until there's good equipment in the hopper. And there's no good equipment in the hopper as of right now. Once there's good equipment, it'll start to use it against the enemies. For now, we're just building it up below the surface, right? I would say, to that extent, why don't you just take a couple of bacons? Those are two ones. It's basically like a little miniature pear. Take another salad bowl, too. Okay, dude, honestly, I think we're getting some, some good efficiency here. I don't know what the heck we're doing with our rat. <laughs> it's on the... If you ask me in my spirit why this is on the squad, it's on the squad because there was a shop that had a bunch of them. That's probably not a great reason. Yo, we're stealing your garlic, though, and we're using it against you, and it's not mattering, but that's okay, because it's the thought that counts. Four wins, two losses, we're on five HP. I'm gonna do this just for the level. A shark is like... It's not... 
it's not part of this my squad goals, so to speak. I roll past the rat, and you know what? I'll tell you one more thing. I, I would do it again. I'm gonna can. I'm confident in the. You know what? You're the next Marty to be added. Okay. We probably. I mean, if we're looking at a 12-9 seahorse or a 7-14 rat with garlic, we're probably keeping the seahorse, which bums me out because I should have been buffing it like this whole time. Alas, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. What the heck? We got to think about what's better for us in the future. In the present, selling either of them is bad, but that's I'm choosing not to concern myself with this. You have a hurt trigger. Holy cow. We're going to sell both. That way we can add a, a, a porcupine, which I probably called a peacock. Frigate bird is 2 HP. Like, not free, but cheap. Now we would love for you to have, like, some garlic or something. You know what? I mean, give it a try. I'll, I'm very content with this, quite frankly. And I like you as well. I would sell you at a second rabbit, focus on buffing you. Try something like this. This is a weird sort of pivot round for us. I mean, a, like a 5-7 frigate bird is not the sort of thing you would look at and be like, I'm stoked to see this. But I'm very stoked. Well, we're going to get our butt kicked here. <laughs> that, what the heck? They're running pack one, man. That's not fair. You're just running a, a monkey shrimp dog build? I get they had a goldfish. Come on. That's nothing. It's meaningless. We can't go deeper into the tropical fish here. You could, you could keep it, I think. Or you, you know what? We could go full sicko mode. Sell me, sell me. Buy me. It's a break even. Buffs the other rabbit. Buffs two units we care for. Sure. Second rabbit. Food. So the thing is, at some point I would rather that um, the, the porcupine has garlic, if possible, but meat for 2 HP seems, like, pretty exciting as well. I mean, we didn't have really any other options with our, with our gold supply. Okay, it could just immediately get overridden, and we're just gonna get blown over by somebody who has a tier, a level 2 tier 5 and a tier 6 unit? I'm not mad, necessarily. I'm more just wondering how such a thing came to pass. It must have been, like, the dream shop. You, you honestly can't really be mad about that. That's like, you know, you ever see the... Sometimes there'll be like human interest stories that, that are like... Uh, uh, you wouldn't believe this. A sixth grader is six foot nine already. And then they show him playing uh, basketball. And he's like an NBA player's height. And then everybody else he's playing against, you know, only comes up to like his belly button. We're so lucky to be alive and not have it matter at all. Um, that's what just happened there. We just ended up going to like the same school district as like LeBron James. You can't be mad when you lose to LeBron James in basketball. He's LeBron James. Give me one of these. Roll me for faint triggers. We got none. Um, we're not really interested like long term in uh, the frilled dragons, but it's the most likely unit to stick around. I mean, the team we went up against was just, like, it was the uber team. Great ant luck, I think. We lose this? Okay. I honestly, I would have thought our team was a little better than this, if I'm being 100%, if I'm keeping it 100 with you. That's okay, though. Life goes on. Why don't you combine me? Why don't you sell me, sell me? And th this is, like, it's a much earlier pivot than you're going to be used to, but that's okay. We're going a little hard on the faint trigger here in order to try to get, like, one viable frilled dragon. I'm not promising anything. Let's skip the raccoon for now. We've run a lot lately. We didn't get a faint trigger. Um, I don't know. Do we, I, I, I think I would rather just have a marmoset. I mean, honestly, I might rather just have some meat out here. I thought about the frog and we'll like swap stats around. I don't think it's that meaningful though. I think we'd be happy with our squad as is. Beautiful ant luck so far. Perfectly timed, as all things should be. Could have gone wrong, didn't. 
So we paid for a very expensive reroll, basically. Let's use it. <laughs> sure, that's nice. Now you, before faint, give friend behind one one and one experience. I mean, we could create a level two ant, but it's like... But why? You know? I don't, I don't see it being that important. But maybe, maybe I'm incorrect. Maybe I'm wrong. If you're gonna force my hand, like... I'm, I'm going to say no to my hand being forced. I'm going to buy a cupcake. It's not that I think a raccoon is bad. It's quite the opposite. It's that I think it's so good I have to artificially limit myself from being able to use it. We're done. We're toasted. <laughs> I've been blown out by a couple chinchilla teams. And that it makes me wonder. Because like it really it doesn't do anything. But obviously, it's doing something for you. You know, I think we have to roll a badger and try to get just, like, disgusting with it. Uh, honey, it was right there. It was literally right there in the shop. Um, pill me, pill me. I know this looks weird. We'd actually love to have two pills. It does take away a faint trigger, though. And then ugh, buff the frilled dragon? Holy cow. Buff the frilly dragon. Get three wins. Don't learn a lot. Some something something in the land of something he <laughs> I don't remember it. I don't remember any of Puff the Magic Dragon. All I remember is meet the parents. This is disastrous. Freeze me. Oh, you know what? Sell me. Yeah, just pivot the whole squad on lethal. Why not? Um I would like to pill you. That's all right, I just like the... I realize now I just like the server to respond to my query. We're done, man. It's over. We got a 9-9 nine, nine frilled dragon. We have... Oh, no, you know what? We have three faint triggers. That's not that bad. Take a sip of the potion. That's not that bad. Like, I would feel compelled and content to actually sell you. Give everybody a little buff here. Move you back. Keep you. Keep you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like this one's in a great position, but it could be worse, probably. That seems terrible. The, the seahorse seems like it's going to do some great work against us. Never mind. I think we're fine. We're at... And it wasn't even close. Eventually, people are going to stop running seahorses. We're going to pass that phase of the game. Everything's going to be hunky-dory for us. You kind of have a faint trigger. It's not very good for us, but you do have one. Holy cow, level three. You're not, like, the best unit for us, but you do exist. So I got to give you some credit there. Apparently, I have a blobfish frozen. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking with that one. Very mysterious. Hey, we got two honey instead of one. That's better than usual. And as usual, by the way, once I've become disillusioned with the run I'm running, it's actually starting to do some work. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna dig myself out of this hole now that I'm I'm stuck with some viability. Uh, you should definitely take this. You don't need to exist. You're gone soon. I just need to figure out what you're being replaced with. Um, we could take a badger up a level. There's no reason we can't give you meat for now, or give our giraffe meat. I still don't think we should prioritize faint triggers, though. I think they've got to be, like, good faint triggers. Like, if we added a walrus, that's good. Oh, no. No, we're fine. If we add a... Aardvark, that's good. If we add an eagle, I think that's pretty good. Mind you, I wouldn't mind fishing and seeing if we get a can. Porcupine, I, I sleep for just a second. I don't see a can, so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to try to maybe give... I mean, if you're the unit we're building on, then let's build on you. But our eagle is going to stick around because we get 3-3 three, three for it existing. And you know what's interesting about the eagle now, too, is there's a lot more um, tier 6s than there used to be. Okay, great minds think alike. You got a shark, I got a shark. You get a shark and I get a shark now, honey. This person is going to be very scary later 
um, when they get that lioness to, to have paid all of its dividends. But for now, we're chilling. No faint triggers that we like. Level two, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know if it's good. I do think that this is probably... A, I'll take a temporary 10-10 buff over a permanent 1-1 one, one at this stage of the game. I think that's pretty much a gimme. Uh, freeze me. Sure. Keep me frozen. One pair is, seems good for where we're at. We don't want to miss out on chocolate, if possible. I don't know what's going on with our bear, as usual, but that's okay. What do we got here? A little gorilla? A little coconut armor? That's good value. Now, you do have a green pepper. It doesn't matter. I'm a little surprised, but there we are. Six wins and some degree of respectability. Stegosaurus, like, it has to come up a level if it can here. I would give up my pear to, to look for some chocolate or another Stegosaurus. That was a very prospective roll, but... You know, you know what I'm going to say here. The badger's got to go. And you just run a walrus instead. It's a faint trigger. It's a great faint trigger. We can keep a green pepper frozen for the f future. Everything is a faint trigger except the frilled dragon. Yes, this is, this is the squad. For now. Now we're probably, you know, we should get a lionfish going as well. Because the 3-3 three, three buff is, is quickly becoming not as relevant. But that's... You know, let me deal with that, okay? You let me deal with that. We got double death touch. What a world. Holy cow, level three rooster? That was unexpected. And then I gave you two honeys. Would have been nice to overwrite that, but what can you do? Okay, we're on lethal. We don't need the green pepper now that I think about it. We shouldn't have kept it frozen. You're giving away two death touch. That's basically as much as we could have asked for. Now, I understand why this looks like an idiot move. Um, I, I would call this hedging our bets. You know, where it, there is a reasonable chance we'll get some degree of redundancy. But I'll take my, my chance to get some overlap instead. Please hit the unit just one behind. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, okay, we got redundancy. Uh, we got triple redundancy, <laughs> and yet we still won. Okay. The perfect shop order is not the most efficient. It's the shop order that wins the game for you, and this is uh, exactly what happened for us right here. Uh, nobody needs honey. Let's be realistic here. We might as well roll for better foods or a match. I can feel purgatory coming for us yet again. I don't know if this is good or bad. We have death touch at the front. That seems fine. Little peanut butter sandwich there. Death touch at the front and at the back, not in the middle. I guess it's a sandwich with peanut butter bread. Uh, so I'm gonna like I'm gonna buff you. I think that we can afford to start taking a, the occasional risk here. I would rat two attack, man. Two it. Okay, fine. Two attack. It's not a good value, but. We'll roll with it for now. We really do want to see, see that Stegosaurus pop up here. How are we doing here? We got stakes for days. We got some death touch. We got some redundancy, unfortunately. We're dead, unfortunately. Still, I feel relatively good about the way this one went down. Considering how lost I was in the mid-game for that to be my best recent run... It gives me pause. It gives me, If I was going to say that it didn't give me pause, I would be lying to you. I like the squad. Now, as much as I want to take this just to meme on them, I think you just roll this instead. I, early, I like this squad. Let's be a helpless handbag. A handbag? You know what? I, I oversold that. I'm sorry. A handbag? That's better. Uh, we lose, like, by a lot, but that's okay. Next round, we come up looking for a bargain. This is freaking awesome. We add an ant. There's a desync error. We got a mosquito. We got uh, two more mosquitoes. Sure. We'll just go up a level next time. 
Stat-wise, this is a good-looking squad. I'm not saying there's nothing that can beat it. I haven't played this weekly enough to really know. What is up with the... People are in love with the chinchillas, man. Based on, like, three anecdotal data points, they can't get enough of it. Now, I love this. I don't love that, but I know you're gone. You might as well just give some HP up here. I don't think the cockroaches need meat. I think we're going to be better off with our mosquito getting some meat. I don't think we're rolling scampy here. I would keep a flamingo as a just-in-case me. And I would, I would be content to roll this, I think. I would be fine with this. Next turn, the ant's going down. But you got to be careful because you can't really pill the ants until the... Uh, we got so lucky there. You can't really pill the ants until the cockroaches are gone because the cockroaches don't even get the permanent buff. So I think we got to decide whether they're, they're staying or going. thinking okay i think you could sell sell and treat this as like a bit of a like a flex round like i'd like to win but whatever happens sort of happens <laughs> um so like a, a good way to describe this i think is i'm already expecting to lose this round um so what should I do with my money? Well, I don't know. Like, the frog just makes no sense. I guess you... But I don't want to buy a 2-4 bird and then have it just blow up in our face. But I don't want to meet any of these because, like, there's no... I, I, With God as my witness, I think you just roll. I thought about the pill, but I think you just roll. We don't need this. We don't need this. We want to see a mosquito. It's okay. I, I know that this th this was deliberate inefficiency. That doesn't make it good just because we meant to do it. People mean to do stuff that's idiotic all the time. Um, but maybe I'm insane. I don't think it was that bad. Now, a bird would have drawn for us. If I'd known that, I would have paid three gold for the bird, but you're dealing with incomplete information, you know? It, and also, I did not know two flamingos were going to show up in our next shop. But that's a, that's a positive for us. I think now we're looking at this as like a much more positive situation. But we do need to think about what we're going to do. Because we basically have two animals on our squad. Because our flamingo is going to get killed. On purpose, for the record. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. But really? Uh, and then it's gonna be like Mosquito Hippo and that's it. Are we on lethal? No. We gotta make the move, man. We can't roll the four squad here, though. <laughs> roll me once. Give me something good, man. Give me something. I guess, you know what? If you're gonna be in a pinch, I'll take a raccoon temporarily. The hippo needs some help. I'm hoping that we're going to weaken some units and give it a chance. I mean, a default stat hippo, it's not like it's usually popping off. Hold on. We're, we're kind of popping. We're kind of popping. We're living. We're popping. We need to give it more buffing. But, like, until the monkey shows up at tier 5, we're basically just in, like, food territory. Armadillo kind of fun, though. Okay, you take the buff here. This is, this is noted. Noted and known. You buffing our hippo would be nice. What would you come out as? A 5-8? Honestly, I, I was fully prepared to say I don't expect that to work. I think 5-8 round 7 with minimum 1 HP trigger. I can live with that. Now, they've got a very similar squad roll in here. And yet. Mm, and yet. And yet. And yet we win, easily, easily, I might add, with no nervous at all, no nervousness, just pure entertainment. Straight up, you need a lot, but like for now, even if we only get a couple turns out of this, I, I'd be happy with you getting the cucumber. I don't know what's going on with the armadillo, which I called an aardvark a few times. I don't know how we're getting through the peacock. 
We're getting through the peacock, but we're not getting through the rabbit. We're drawing with the rabbit. Let's go. Motley crew voice. Drawing with the rabbit. Okay, hold on. This, that might be Van Halen. I have a history of getting those bands confused. This is your gimme. Okay, all of a sudden, your hippo's got to go to the freaking moon. There's your buff. 1924 hippo. Now I'm like, dude, we should start to think about maybe swapping around the way that the squad looks and maybe putting like a rat in front of our hippo. We can get a guaranteed trigger or two out of it. Like, there's something to that. Oh my God. Incredible play. I don't believe it. And yet here we are, believe it. Um, yeah, you know what I just said? Screw all that. We're just going insane hippo mode. And I think we might as well just send it right from the get-go. I feel like that's that's peak value. I've been known to be like wrong before, <laughs> just for the record. But come on, 30, 36 hippo round, level two, 30, 36 hippo round 10, come on. It's going, you know as well as I do, this thing's going off. If the first unit doesn't stop us, I'll see you on the moon. This is the dream hippo scenario that, if I'm being honest, didn't even really exist in pack one. I'm, I just don't think I need you right now. Like, I, I, it would be fun, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know if it's, like, all that important. Now, I do think this is just good. I don't think you're doing anything now that I think about it, so I'm actually going to sell you. I'm going to put out a second dolphin. And then... I'm going to buy a lionfish, and it's entirely a bet hedge just to overwrite the... Well, it's not a hedge, it's just a bet. I'm betting that they're going to have good equipment on their front unit, and then I'm going to override it. Now, in this case, I was right, but it ended up being irrelevant. Also, we killed their lionfish with the dolphin, which is just like, it's a dream come true. This squad has got something. Hippo's going up. You know what? Let's try to give that hippo some sustain. I was on the fence whether we were going to do hippo or um, or stegosaurus, but we don't need stegosaurus. It's already got, getting the hippo pretty much all the way there. Level 2 lionfish could be pog too. Like, guess what? Here comes uh, the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There goes your garlic. You're dead. You stole my cucumber, which means you died because you had a green pepper on you. And the hippo is going off. It's going to the moon. It's doing everything and more. Not necessary. I mean, 20 extra attack on you, sure. But we'd really love to see chocolate or hippo. Green pepper. There's some temptation there. Don't get me wrong. 44.50. Still happy to have... Every point that we invest in the hippo returns more than we pay. So I'm... I'm loving that. I'm loving overriding uh, that. I'm loving you're killing me. <laughs> I'm not loving that. I'm, you're overriding me. You're dead. I'm satisfied. I feel like I'm better at the game, even though I basically just got a perfect Stegosaurus. My ego is assuaged. We got a level three hippo. That's called skill. You can go. You're not doing anything, man. And then we don't really care. If you override a piece of equipment, we don't really care. We just need to see that level two lionfish so that when you trade one to one, you will then override the equipment on a unit that our hippo attacks. I'm, I, I'm going all in looking for it. Level two lionfish. This is admittedly just like a cursory glance. I don't know if there's anything I can think of that makes this squad markedly better short of like, you know, a level two walrus. My lionfish is dead. So that makes it worse. <laughs> By like a lot, but... You live because of your green pepper. Okay, you know what? Well played. That The things would be different if my lionfish had not died. Which is like, they built a better squad. They built a squad to counter it. Hey, by the way, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. See ya!